tragic loss of a Trinidad OG who was killed while praying. Police are investigating the death of Boy George, who was gunned down on Friday night. Brian Brown was shot dead while in the gallery, while in the gallery of his home at Building 60 Maloney. Around 10 p.m., residents of the area heard rapid gunfire upon investigating the Fung Brown lying in the gallery of his home with multiple gunshot wounds. One man is dead, while another is wounded in serious condition following a shooting in Maloney on Tuesday night. The deceased has been identified as Sean Jungle Dubari. According to police, around 11.30 p.m., residents of Building 2 Maloney Gardens heard several explosions. Men were then seen fleeing the scene. Officers found Dubari and another man lying on the ground with gunshot wounds. Paramedics were called, however, Dubari succumbed to his wounds. The other injured party was rushed to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex in Mount Hope for treatment. Based on police intelligence, they suspect that the killing was a reprisal for the murder of Brian Boy George Brown on Friday night. George was fatally shot while in the gallery of his home at Building 16 Maloney Gardens. Police said Brown was well known to them as he was linked to criminal activities in the 1990s and early 2000s. Welcome back to Old Schools Media. Today we have a heartbreaking story to share as we remember the life of Brian Brown, also known as Boy George from Maloney Gardens, who was tragically shot and killed in his own home while saying his prayers in 2020. Let's dive into the details and hear from his grieving family and other reports. On Friday night, the peaceful neighborhood of Maloney Gardens was shattered by the sound of rapid gunfire. Brian Brown, a respected member of the community, was found lifeless in his chair. Police believe the gunman responsible for the senseless act ill from the same area. Brown's relatives, who are mourning the loss of a loved one, despite his troubled past, they emphasize that he did not deserve to meet such a tragic end. One relative explained, I am deeply hurt because he used to send prayers and well wishes to all his relatives on WhatsApp. Up to earlier on Friday, I remember calling him and telling him that I loved him. Why would somebody do something like that to a defenseless man? The family shares their disbelief at the violent act, especially since Brown was known to be a changed man who had left his criminal past behind. They expressed their frustration at the unforgiving nature of society. Another family member explained, People will always talk about what they don't know. Everybody has a past. I read one news site described him as a notorious criminal, but anyone who knew Brian would know that he put that life behind him years ago. Brown's family also shed light on his efforts to reform and avoid trouble. They believe jealousy played a role in his untimely death as he took precautions to protect himself from potential harm. As we reflect on the tragic laws, it serves as a reminder of the devastating impact of violence within our community. Let's strive for understanding and compassion, acknowledging that everyone can change and deserve a chance at redemption. We send our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Brian Brown during this difficult time. May his soul rest in peace.